What are those things that no one tells you when you begin on this ambitious quest to improve your life? Is that there is actually a time when you should quit. Like there are goals and phases and undulations in your goals where you should quit. You should stop doing what you're doing because it's not working. And pushing more may only get you these marginal, tiny results. And they're not going to get you the big thing that you want. So in this video, I want to share a little bit about my experience on when you should quit, essentially, something important to you and reformulate, regroup, and find a better way forward. What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, there's always a time in a person's life where there's a time to push forward with your goals and a time to stop. I've included a free goal-setting worksheet right there in the description. It's the very first link in the description box there below. So click that. It's going to give you the worksheet in your email inbox and a beginner goal-setting course. When I started my business, I wanted a certain kind of lifestyle that involved certain things. So I knew that I wanted to have a business where I could make XYZ dollars a month. I could travel around the world so it was online. It was audience-based so I could impact other people and I could hear the impact of my work every single day. But there were all these other factors that I had, hadn't decided about, right? I didn't make those up in my mind and I was just kind of leaving them open. And it was only after years and years and years of pushing in my business that some things just were not working, right? Like some things, no matter how hard I pushed, no matter how hard I worked, no matter how hard I kept reinventing and trying and experimenting and hiring coaches, those other things never worked. And what I wish I knew now was that if you look at businesses and creative ideas, this is more related to that. There's this time that Seth Godin calls the dip, which is where at the start, you're excited, you're ambitious, you're ready to go. And then it starts going down. And that's where it starts getting hard. And you don't know if this is the time where do I push and then it becomes successful? Like you hear about all of the successful companies or is this the time where it's actually going to stay in the dip and you never really know, which is what makes it so difficult. You never really know if this company, this business, this creative idea, this venture, is it at this dip, but right here, six months from now, it's going to pop or if it's going to stay the same. So how do you figure that out? So for me, the first thing is that if it doesn't feel good, and more importantly, it hasn't for a long time, personally, I would bail. I mean, there are so many things in my business that I've done. If you want to compare things that have made me money, some of the things that I focused on to make money have made me the most money. But a lot of things that I focused on to make money have not worked. You know, like me launching digital products and online courses, for almost everyone on the internet, that is an internet business, that is by far the number one source of revenue. And yet for me, no matter how smart and strategic I am, it's never been the number one source of revenue. And then other things like me writing my book, which I did for fun and excitement and passion, that's become one of my biggest sources of revenue that I can rely on every single month to pay my rent and to pay my expenses. And the product side has been really crappy and hard for me to do, largely. The book, not only was this easy for me to write, the whole process was fun and impactful. So there's something to be said for those two things. The second thing for me is when you've been doing something for a long time and you aren't getting the results you want. Now I have to put this with an asterisk because there are plenty of people going to the gym every week for months and months and months, but they don't know what they're doing. So they don't get results. There's plenty of entrepreneurs that I've coached that they think they're doing, like they're really working hard, but they're really not doing much. You know, like They'll say they're, they're like working so hard on their business or their YouTube or their blog. And if I ask them to show me even five videos they've uploaded, they don't even have five videos they've uploaded. So there's a, there's a divide between deluding yourself where you're not actually doing the work, but you think you are. Thinking is not work. Strategy is not work. And there's the divide between like, am I doing it, but it's not working. So I would say if you've done a realistic assessment of yourself and you realize I've been doing this thing that I think is the right thing to try to get fit, to try to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, to try to get my business to work or my book published, and it's not working for a year, six months or a year, then I would say you're in the dip and it's time to quit and either figure out a new way to reach the goal or find out a different pivot 
and regroup, figure out what's exciting to you and where your intuition is pushing yourself now. And the last thing I would say is the way you know you're in the dip and you should quit a project you're working on is if you have a feeling that you're on the wrong path. And I think this is the biggest of all because people can become successful at what they hate. I mean, there's no doubt anyone who works hard will have some level of success in anything, right? A person who works hard can become good just as easily as skateboarding as quantum mechanics, right? Work ethic, discipline determines success more than anything else in my experience observing people. But it doesn't mean they'll enjoy the process or they'll be happy or they'll want to do that forever because they're using a lot of resources to push. If you feel like intuitively you're not on the right path, like why am I even doing this? That was something I repeated a lot internally. I had a good job, a lot of freedom, a lot of responsibility doing what I wanted, great commute, beautiful little office I could work in, great, you know, great people I worked with. And yet every day I was like, why am I doing this? Because I felt like there was something more exciting to me that if I died tomorrow, I would regret not have taken that chance on myself to do the things that were really cool to me. Like I wanted to do whatever the coolest thing in the world was. And now that's exactly what I'm doing. So sometimes you feel like, you know, this may give you success, but success is not your entire financial success is not your entire definition of success. So you need to figure out if I feel like I'm on the wrong path. To me, that is a clear intuition that you're in a dip and you need to get out because pushing upward is only going to fulfill you in one aspect of your life. So that's what I think in terms of you're working on something, you're not getting results. It's not working. I would use these three criteria to see if, is it really worth me pushing more or is it time to bail because there's a bigger goal I can achieve with much less stress that feels better and I know it'll happen because I'm, I have a feeling that I have some kind of attraction or affinity towards that craft. So again, don't forget I've included a free goal setting worksheet. There's a goal setting course in the description box there below. Click that first link in the description. That'll bring you to a free email course on how to set and achieve your most wild goals to have your best year ever. So click that link there below, get signed up. You can also check out my last two videos right here and right here.